Hello everyone, welcome to GKM classes. So today we are going to uh, discuss coordination chemistry as I mentioned that coordination chemistry. Correct? So coordination chemistry. And after knowing this, you will get surprised that from last four years, I have uh, just extracted the questions and uh, 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 the number of questions they are asking year by year, it's very uh, good number. Like in 2022, they have asked six questions, correct? Total marks from coordination chemistry itself is 11. Then in 2021, they have asked total 10 questions, okay, from coordination chemistry alone, correct? And the number of uh, marks, it is 16. And then in the year of 2020, they have asked five questions from coordination chemistry, marks distributed like nine marks. And then uh, 2019, they have asked five question and uh, marks weightage is eight marks, correct? So they are asking in each uh, part, like part A, part B, part C, uh, equally distributed, uh, like equal distribution is happening for coordination chemistry question. So uh, maybe they are really very much interested in coordination chemistry, correct? And it is very much easy. I'm going to discuss first the concept of coordination chemistry. After this concept, I will take up all those questions. I think all of, all together, how many questions will I'm going to solve it? It will like uh, 6 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5. So 26, total 26 question I'm going to discuss after my concept, whatever concept I'm giving. This, you just do practice because from this concept itself, you are going to get questions from your upcoming examination, correct? And enjoy this uh, series, whatever we have launched for to helping you. So first I'm going to discuss isomerism, correct? So in coordination chemistry, first topic, I'm going to discuss isomerism. Okay. So in isomerism, they are asking, I think two questions or three questions they have asked isomerism in this last four years. Maybe uh, the probability is there to ask again for isomerism. It is very uh, uh, like we can say an easy topic and we have to discuss it and finalize okay so first we will see for octahedral complex and tetrahedral complex because in your syllabus it has mentioned that octahedral and tetrahedral only no need to discuss your uh, uh, tbp and then square planar uh, uh, like square planar it's required tetrahedral square planar and octahedral these three things we are going to discuss it let's see first for octahedral complexes in this isomerism uh, we can divide it to stereoisomers and as well as structural isomers. Okay, first we will discuss those uh, stereoisomers. Okay, in that geometrical isomers, optical isomers, all these things are there, and then we'll go to the uh, your uh, 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 structural isomers, where the linkage isomers, ligand isomers, coordination isomers, ionization isomerism. Those things we will discuss it. Correct. So first, let's see for uh, uh, in isomerism, stereoisomerism for octahedral okay so just i'll classify this thing if you if you count the lectures uh, entire coordination chemistry whatever mentioned in your syllabus it will be approximately 45 to 50 lectures correct but here i have to give you in two lectures like today's lectures and tomorrow's lectures coordination chemistry entire thing will be get finished okay so it will be like the concept i'll go through and then Based on that, those questions, like 26 questions are there. So very good number of questions we having. So 26 questions, if you are able to solve, okay, by yourself, then you think that you have a good grasp of coordination chemistry, correct? So now, uh, without delaying, just start it. So first, uh, complex, suppose in your mind, whatever it will come. So it will be cobalt and then NH3, six times, okay. So these molecules, it is coming to your mind and then it will be like three chloride always. Okay. If you, if you want to write chloride, you can write it. Otherwise, how you, how you can write it for this complex, uh, like going forward, I will not use this site of, uh, whatever the ionic ions are there, peripheral ions that I'm not going to write, whether it is in anionic form or it is cationic form that I'm not going to uh, write it. Okay. So now this we can write it in this form also so don't get confused where is that chloride okay so this will be uh, written in this format also three plus okay so now uh, for uh, your isomerism it, it you have to convert it to the, some basics formula right like alkene we have general formula likewise you have to uh, frame it so this is metal right central metal the so central metals we can write m okay this is ligand we already know right in detail we can't go now okay in detail 
uh, it will take as i told you it will take more than 45 lectures correct yeah. so now this is ligand so ml how many ligands are there it's having six so i'm i, I i'm sure that they are not going to ask you the coordination number right if they are asking yeah you can easily answer it it is six right coordination number is six because it is monodented ligand if it is bidented ligand then your coordination number will be like suppose if uh, here the number is six and the ligand is bidented so it will be like 12 okay coordination number is 12 suppose they want for octahedral what they will do they will put a bidented ligand here and they'll write it three so three into two it will be six and then again it is coming to the octahedral correct so now ml6 and 3 plus so this plus 3 plus we don't require this much itself is enough to solve your isomerism problem so this is ml6 so we have to see how many geometrical isomers are there geometrical isomers whether cis trans okay facial meridional like this isomerism we have to find it out and then how many stereo isomers are there okay Suppose optical activity, how many are uh, in this cis and uh, trans or facial or meridional, how many are uh, optically active, okay, that we have to write it here. And then total isomers we have to write, okay, total uh, stereo isomers, okay, how much it will come. So, suppose there is no cis trans, so if you are writing 0, there is no facial and meridional, if you are writing 0, optical activity also you are writing 0, then how much it will be for total stereo isomers? don't write it zero okay if you are writing zero 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 and total it will be zero then it will be wrong right because self isomerism will be present correct self isomerism will be present so for that we have to write one and you have to mention it it is self isomerism as just like do self isomerism okay so this one is self isomerism because itself it will be there no so self isomerism correct so now coming to the point, these things we have to solve it for all the complex, whatever I'm going to write it here, okay. ML6 type of complex is this, because all the ligand, if all the ligands are same, then ML6. If any one of the ligand is changes, then the formula will get changed, correct. So now ML6, how much it will come? Uh, for this, how much it will come? Uh, it will be like metal. How we are going to draw it, let's see. Okay, ligand, 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 ligand. All are same, correct? All are same. Any mirror you just pass it, it will reflect each other. Okay? It will reflect each other. Correct? If you are passing through this, it will reflect. If you are passing through this, this will reflect. If you are putting horizontal mirror, this ligand and this ligand will reflect. So here, no optical activity. There is no cis trans. So this will uh, this will have total stereoisomers is one correct this will have total stereoisomers is one so whatever complex they will give just convert it to this so ml6 type molecule if it is ml6 type molecule there will be only one stereoisomers that will be self isomers okay it won't be optically active it won't have c strands it won't have facial or meridional okay so we'll go to, to the next example ne next type of the example Let's see how many lectures it will cover it because I have to give you uh, at least uh, it is not like that very fast I will move and then in examination you will be in trouble right. So I will give you the enough data so it will be helping out ML5 and then I will put here okay what we can write A we can write okay ML5A or we can write MAL5. Okay, whatever you want, you can write it. So now uh, in this type, uh, so the example, example you can write it cobalt. Any example you can take it. Okay, cobalt five, NH three five, and then Cl you just put it. Here it will be Cl two. Outer side it will be Cl two. Right, that I'm not going to write. Just I'll put two plus. So in this molecule, how many isomers will be there? Let's see. We'll draw it first. This is metal means cobalt okay then you just put it L L L L L this is square planar and then this is down one ligand is there axial one more is in another axial and it will be like chlorine so I put it here A okay so now you see uh, if you are putting mirror in this horizontal way 
this won't reflect this one correct but for optically active any mirror suppose you are putting one mirror like this okay along with the a and l this ligand and this ligand is reflecting this ligand and this ligand is reflecting so we have plane okay we have uh, uh, axis of plane right uh, planar axis so in this it is reflecting so if it is reflecting it is optically inactive correct so if it is optically inactive optical isomers is zero now c strand how you will decide c strands because we minimum two uh, molecule minimum two ligand we need which one will be together then only cis if it is far away then it will be trans so here also there is no cis trans no facial meridional and then no uh, optically activity so total isomers will be total history of isomers will be one and that will be self isomers correct here also it will be self isomers so geometrical isomers is zero optical isomers equal to zero so total it will be one and that is self isomers correct so now going to the next uh, example ML4 A2. Okay, ML4 A2. So if you are finding this type of molecule, so this example you can write it cobalt NH3 4 Cl2. Okay, what will be the isomerism for this? Just uh, we will draw it. Okay, A A C. These two A are in transform right so we can write it is in transform so whether this transform is optically active or inactive if you are putting one mirror here this one is reflecting right so this is optically inactive now any other form is possible let's see a this is a these two are cis right how to differentiate cis or trans see if it is cis it will have 90 degree bond angle if it is trans it will have 180 degree bond angle see uh, for this a and this a we have 180 degree bond angle because both are axial this four ligands how it is placed one two three four it is in equatorial correct all the four are in equatorial and this a and this a is in one a is here top and one a is in down right so these two are in axial so if you are taking angle between this at uh, this ligand a and this ligand a it will be 180 degree correct so if it is 180 degree then it will be trans suppose you are getting angle bond angle is 90 degree it will be cis so this bond angle is 90 degree and this uh, these two ligands are in cis form right so we can write it cis correct whether this is optically active how we are going to see it whether this is optically active or not so suppose you are putting one mirror here then this A is not reflecting this L. Okay. So horizontal uh, whatever horizontal uh, mirror plane, the sigma sigma is not present here. Sigma H is not present here. Let's see. If you are putting one mirror like this, okay, it, it will cover like this. Okay. This will cut this A also, this L also. Now see, this L is reflecting this L. Correct. These two ligands is reflecting. So this is optically inactive correct so you are taking mirror like this okay uh, what i'll take some example i'll take it suppose this one one is here is a okay and here is l this side is a just imagine it this side is a l l l suppose this is a here also a and l if you are putting mirror like this or your blade will be like this if you are cutting like this so this top A is also you are cutting and then you are going down you are cutting this A and this L okay see this A and this L you are cutting then you are going down and cutting to the L so now this corner and this corner is reflecting each other so this ligand and this ligand is reflecting each other so we can say it this is also optically inactive so we have cis and trans correct any other possibilities for cis no, only two we have, right? So it will be like how many geometrical isomers are there? Two. How many optical isomers are there? Zero. Total it will be two. Now we are not going to write the self isomer, correct? Now the total will be two and total is two isomers will be two 
and that is from geometrical isomers itself there is no optical isomers correct so likewise there are many examples are there just i'll make a table based on that you just uh, put any uh, examples and you just solve it otherwise it will take more uh, lengthier correct so i'll put one table which will be really helping out you ये टेबल आपको बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करेगा तो क्या है आप यहां पर लिख लीजिए मॉलिक्यूल रहेगा यहां पे कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप मैं स्क्रीनशॉट लेने के लिए आपको जगह छोड़ दूंगा कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप एंड देन हियर इट विल बी ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमर्स मतलब नंबर ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमर्स हियर नंबर ऑफ ऑप्टिकल आइसोमर्स हियर इट विल बी टोटल आइसोमर्स ओके आई विल राइट इज टू आइसोमर्स करेक्ट नाउ फर्स्ट वर्स एम एल सिक्स करेक्ट so ml6 geometrical isomer zero optical isomer zero this is self isomer correct now second was ml6a here also geometrical isomer zero optical isomer zero and self isomer one now next is ml6 so this should be 5 ml4a2 geometrical isomer was 2 we have solved this three right then optical isomer 0 total will be 2 next it is coming m l 4 here it will be a b both the ligand is different right here both the ligand will be same right it was like cobalt tetraamine and then we were having two chloride right here it will be one is chlorine maybe second one is bromine correct right? it like this it is there here also it will be like i'll just write it 2 Here it will be zero and two. This table will help you out everywhere, right? And then M L three A three. Okay, M L three A three means total six ligand we have. In that three ligands are um, suppose ammonia and three ligands are chlorine. Okay. So what will be the geometrical isomers and optical isomers? That we will write it two. Here it will be facial and meridional. Okay. Correct. and then here it will be total will be 2 next will be ml3 then a2 b okay these are the ligands different type of ligand correct so geometrical isomer will be 3 optical isomer will be 0 total will be 3 then next will be m l3 a b c all the different ligands okay all these three ligands are same remaining three ligands are different okay so geometrical isomer will be 4 and optical isomer will be 1 total will be 5 correct now next m a2 b2 c2 correct so geometrical isomer will be 5 optical my isomer will be 1 and total will be 6 so this many it will have correct this many we will have just take a screenshot i will be out of frame okay now we'll discuss it for tetrahedral complex okay it is very much easy for tetrahedral complex isomerism is very much easy because you know for tetrahedral uh, it is hybridization is sp3 correct and it won't have geometrical isomers for tetrahedral complex we won't have geometrical isomers suppose in methane or uh, dichloromethane we'll have cis trans we don't have right only optical active if all the like if the, the center will be chiral only when the four different functional group is attached to the uh, main center right uh, then only it will be chiral and then it will show the optical isomers otherwise it won't show correct so directly you can write the tetrahedral complex won't have geometrical isomers so directly you will say it's a zero optical isomer correct now for different type of uh, molecule we will try ml4 if it is ml4 how many geometrical geometrical isomer we are not going to write it because by default geometrical isomers will be zero whether all the four different ligands are uh, like the four ligands are different okay it is not resembling with each other then also we will not have geometrical isomers because tetrahedral we don't have geometrical isomers so next is uh, just we will see ml4 types uh, uh, 
uh, how much uh, optical isomers will be there because all the ligands are same so there won't be any optical isomers so it will be zero but self isomer will be there so total isomer will be one right so total isomer will be one and that is self isomer correct i'll take an example it will be like uh, just see this one nickel okay pph 3 twice and cl2 okay cl2 uh, so how many geometrical isomers or how many geometrical isomer it will be zero because this is this compound this complex is tetrahedral and it will have this this type of uh, like molecule is ML2A2 okay this is also uh, we don't have in this in this also we don't have optical isomers right so optical isomers is zero only so now total isomer will be one that is self isomer correct so now ML3A will solve it one by one here also total isomers will be one because only self isomer will present if you have MLABC all the four different ligands then only you will get optical isomer one optical isomers and then total isomers will be one itself because uh, if any isomers we are getting here either geometrical or optical then self isomer we are not writing right so this will be the total isomer and that is one correct so like this they have, they they'll ask you now for a square planar we'll just see for a square planar how this will work so this will be metal center and this will be in plane okay in plane okay so now first compound we will take it uh, here only we will draw it l l l l so four l are there correct so in this there won't be geometrical isomer there won't be optical isomer correct so now it will be like total isomer will be one and that is self isomer correct because it is in plane and, and square planar we can write cis and trans right so now second type of molecule will be one l and three l and one a here also we can't write any geometrical isomers because for geometrical isomers we need at least two different ligands right let's see like means uh, two ligands similar and another two ligands are uh, like uh, it should be other than these two correct so this is also having only one isomer that is self isomer next molecule we will take it see in this molecule if we are taking two ligands similar and another two ligands is also a uh, different type of this l so this will have cis and trans see the bond angle between these two a is 90 degree suppose if it is 90 degree we can write it cis now next arrangement will be trans how we are arranging one a is here another a is here this ligand and this ligand correct now you see in between these two ligand the bond angle is 180 so if it is 180 this will be trans so total geometrical isomers is two optical isomers zero how optical isomers zero because it will have sigma h because it is in a square planar right it is in a square planar correct like this so if you are putting a mirror like this or blade if you are cutting like this horizontally what will happen this molecule will reflect each other right so horizontal plane of axis like plane is present right so this will not have square planar will not have optical isomers it won't have optical isomers likewise the tetrahedral won't have geometrical isomers square planar won't have the optical isomers correct so now that this is cis and this is trans correct now the next type of molecule m l and then uh, you can write m l 2 a b this will also have cis trans two geometrical isomer I'll just rub it, I'll just make a table. Tetrahedral it is very easy. Square planar, I'll write it like that only. We have that table for octahedral, right? So likewise, I'll write it here for tetrahedral, uh, uh, square planar. This is for square planar, correct? Yeah, square planar ke liye hai, correct? So, uh, humare paas molecule type hai. Agar humne L, L4 liya hai, to humare paas geometrical isomer kitne honge? And how many optical isomer will be there? And uh, total isomer, right? Is two isomers I will write. Total is two isomers. So how many geometrical isomers? Zero. Optical isomers always zero. Total will be one because self isomers is there. ML3A type. 
zero zero one and then m l two a two type here it will be two zero total two m l two a b two zero two that are m a b c d four different ligand then we'll have three geometrical isomers zero optical isomers total will be three so this table also you take a screenshot okay so all together i'll solve it all the questions okay first i'll discuss all the concept and then one by one i'll solve the questions okay so it will be better for you because uh, you will also solve along with me correct so next topic what we are going to take it the structural isomerism okay they have not not asked you the structural isomerism but still i'll discuss what are the structural isomerism uh, just we'll discuss and finish it up so suppose ionization isomerism are there okay in that uh, two different like one molecule will be there okay the charge will uh, uh, like getting changed okay for ionization isomerism okay i'll just write one example for ionization isomerism this is the structural part i'm doing okay structural isomerism ionization isomerism i'll take one example okay CO N three five here and then SO four is getting. This is after dissociation. What is happening? CO N three five here and here it will be two plus and SO four two minus. If this the same molecule, the molecular because isomerism, what is happening? The molecular formula will same. Only the structural part will change, right? So now second molecule you take N H three five S O four and then B R. What will happen after dissociation? Okay, N H three five S O four. Here it will be only one plus and then B R. See, these two are ionization isomerism. Correct? If bromine is inside. Okay, what is happening here? Two plus because sulfate we have uh, two minus. So the ionization see here it is two plus and here it is only plus. Next we will take the uh, solvated isomerism. Correct. Solvated isomerism. What is that solvated isomerism? Uh, I'll write the example. It will be. Cobalt chloride and it's three four times Cl two four six okay into we'll write H two O this and this 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 complex we will write it now Cl two and it's three four then water one water will be inside and two Cl will be outside so these two are solvated isomerism okay likewise we'll see next is linkage isomerism okay so linkage isomerism we'll see okay just example i'll take it for linkage isomerism uh, we have this one cobalt nh3 5 and then no2 correct okay and second one is the same molecular formula N is three five, and then this will be O and O. Correct. Two plus. What is the meaning of these two? Here, I'll just write it for this complex cobalt. Here the nitro group, the nitrogen's lone pair is coordinating with cobalt center, right? D D orbital of cobalt. But in this case, what is happening? The cobalt center is coordinated with this oxygen part. Okay, whatever the lone pair is there, that is coordinating with cobalt. Correct? Done. So this is linkage isomerism. Okay. So this isomerism, uh, I I don't think so. They will they they are going to ask you. Okay. Uh, so isomerism part is already over. Okay, whatever isomerism question they are going to ask, you will easily solve it. Okay, whatever concept I am giving. Okay, so next topic I will take BBT. 
like theories we can write it theories okay theories of coordination complex right so first will be vbt valence bond theory in this uh, valence bond theory we will deal with the coordinated bond okay we will deal with coordinated bond sometimes they might we ask you for a statement type of questions that vbt what we are dealing cft what we are dealing mot what we are dealing so in that time you can answer it based on this uh, whatever i am uh, just now i am giving you okay second will be cft these are the theory which we are going to deal in cft uh, this will uh, deal with your ionic bond like electrostatic force of attraction okay so here we will deal with electrostatic force of attraction okay and then like ionic you can write it ionic force or ionic bond you are going to discuss like based on ionic nature uh, this theory have discussed with the same molecule okay to the same molecule they have discussed for coordinated bond this valence bond theory has discussed the coordinated bond type and the latest one and more advanced one is mot right so in mot they have discussed like they 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 they, uh, they are saying that it is a covalent nature okay covalent nature so uh, likewise uh, you, you this is the more advanced uh, uh, theory and which will have so many concepts in this okay mot so mo diagram you have to draw like my previous uh, uh, this exam series you have seen the hybridization and then chemical bonding part right where what what we have done we have just seen the mo diagram right so that mo diagram you have to draw it for coordination complex also okay and that that won't be much uh, difficult it is for coordination molecule it is very much easy to draw a mo diagram correct now one by one we will discuss it first we will discuss it for vbt okay then maybe in one lecture everything is not might be getting covered maybe two or three lecture it will be so this coordination complex because they are asking many questions like i told you know this four years they have asked total 26 questions correct so uh, based on that we have to know some of the concepts if you are not knowing the concepts then it will be very much difficult to solve it correct so this is your revision series right this is your revision series just to revise along with me so next will be uh, first will be vbt we are going to discuss it in this vbt i uh, will see they are discussing only for the hybridization okay what will be the hybridization of the molecule main concept like main discussion or we can say the soul of uh, this vbt is to find the hybridization that's all nothing else correct only hybridization Uh, next, uh, what it is saying? Maybe if it is octahedral complex, for octahedral complex, what it says? Two types of uh, molecule it will get formed. One will be outer orbital complex. One will be inner orbital complex. they will give you one example and based on that they'll ask whether it is outer orbital complex or inner orbital complex so that you have to find it out based on hybridization correct and for the hybridization you require the central metal uh, oxidation number you require uh, the ligand the nature of ligand whether it's a strong field ligand or weak field ligand okay everything we are going to discuss it so for outer orbital complex the hybridization should be sp3 d2 if it is inner orbital complex the hybridization should be d2 sp3 correct so what is inner orbital complex what is outer orbital complex outer orbital complex means your outer d it is utilizing okay to form the bond or making like making use of that hybridization we are taking the outer d orbital okay like nd we are taking nd okay and in this inner orbital complex what is happening because of this pairing up okay pairing up we are just uh, uh, keeping space in the inner d orbital that is n minus 1 d here we are keeping one place where we can put our electrons okay if we are getting this place n minus 1 d then it will be d2 sp3 and then it will be inner orbital complex that is the difference okay this is outer d we are utilizing here we are utilizing the inner penultimate d okay we we better we call it penultimate d we are utilizing so this will be inner orbital complex correct so this inner orbital complex we say it, it is a low spin 
Why low spin? Because the strong field ligand, okay, strong field ligand will uh, do the pairing of the electron, and then if it is pairing up, then only the space is uh, left over, right, for uh, hybridization. So if a strong field ligand are there, then it will be low spin. Always it will be low spin because everything will be paired up, right? So low spin molecule, correct? Here it will be uh, outer orbital complex means pairing up is not taking place. Why pairing up is not taking place? Because we have weak field ligand. Okay, if we have weak, weak field ligand, then this pairing up will not take place and we will have our outer orbital complex. We will utilize the uh, outer uh, d orbital, okay? So now, this will be inorganic in nature. This will be organic in nature, means we will say that covalent in nature. Okay, this will be ionic in nature. We will not say that inorganic, everything is inorganic and organic, uh, ionic in nature. So this will be ionic compound, more towards the ionic nature. This will be more towards the covalent nature okay so okay this is and one more thing this is low spin we call it high spin okay. so now you will easily distinguish between low spin high spin weak field ligand strong field ligand sp3 d2 d2 sp3 nd n minus 1d ionic compound covalent compound if they will say four or uh, five complex if they are giving and they say that properties of ionic nature okay based on the ionic nature you arrange it based on the covalent nature you arrange it so now you can easily arrange okay based on this vbt so vbt is mainly utilizing for hybridization and this kind of thing okay main basic concept correct uh, that's why i like vbt more and then we'll go to the cft there the uh, splitting will be there number of unpaired electron you are going to calculate uh, like like uh, what will be the magnetic spin only magnetic moment okay likewise many things you are going to calculate uh, those things uh, may, like we will see in our next class tab tak ke liye aap dekhte rahiye hai na aur maine bola 26 question pucha hai iit jam mein so these all 26 question go again and if you have that pyq you just see those questions okay uh, it will be like 2022 to 2019 we have all together 26 question and that all the questions i'm going to solve it okay so few concept is left okay cft uh, we will discuss it then inorganic uh, like uh, inorganic spectroscopy i will discuss it that is fall under this coordination complex itself then reaction mechanism i will discuss it one trans effect also they have given so trans effect also i'm going to discuss it or eagle diagram also i'm going to discuss it and then we will solve the questions okay so uh, be with me and watch this uh, classes okay Thank you very much.